Hello YouTube, it's Ply Factor here today, and I'm back with another episode of LSPDFR. And today we're in Blaine County, and we're going to see what uh, we can get into during the day today. And uh, we'll just get in with it, and uh, squad cars over here. Is that of our ambient action that is leaning up against that uh, door there, just ch chilling. And we'll get back into our squad car here, and uh, we'll get going. Looks like we have a Grand Theft Auto in progress. We'll respond to that. But there seems to be two subjects. The subject will have surrendered, but I'm going to catch up with this vehicle. Seems to be flying. Not sure what they're driving, but they're at high rates of speed. That suspect got away, no surprise. This guy is flying. Catch up to him. I'm gonna call for a um, two backup units. He seems to have turned around on us. In the pursuit of a black vehicle. I don't know all of the uh, Los Santos names. Looks like he's trying to do a roadblock there. Roadblock unsuccessful. I'm gonna go past this unit until he catches catches up with me. I'm nearly 1050 into that car. Oh, the officer is catching back up. Pull over to the side here so you can pass. Oh, I don't know what that van is doing. It's gotta be close. This guy is flying at high rates of speed here. Going northbound. Gotta watch out for traffic. Oh, and finally catches up with me. I might be done here. No, it's continuing. Continuing on through the railroad tracks here. In the east on Union Drive. North now, officer repetitive, unsuccessful pit. Still heading north on Union Road and Grapes, you have. Be primary until the other, other officer catches up. And it seems he's gonna be getting back out on the highway here. Heading north on US Route 13, Mount Gordo in Blaine County. The two bikers here stopped. Not sure what he's doing. Is he done? I'm gonna pull him out. This should be cover. Oh my God. Don't be running. Don't run. And uh, we got him in custody. 10:15. And uh, we have him, we have him under arrest. Looks like a couple officers showed up here on the scene. We have a 46 Echo Echo Kilo 572. It'll 
that'll be a uh, Saber GT. We'll just close the door on this, and uh, we have a tow truck pick this up. Your glass piece of shit. And uh, he'll be in custody tonight, today. And uh, we'll be uh, cooked for. That vehicle didn't uh, stop that stop sign, so we're gonna have to catch up to him. We're gonna blip him. See if he stops at this stop sign. He stops at that one, but we're gonna blip him right here. We're gonna pull him over. And uh, just get, give him a warning, probably. See if they'll pull over for us. They have their turn signal on. And stop for us, so we'll just give him some room. And uh license plate and uh license plate seems to be a two Romeo Papa Sierra Oscar two seven. And I will be out with this vehicle here. It seems to be a brown Granger. And uh, occupy times two here. And we'll say hello to these guys. They just want their stops, and that's all. Hi. Hey. And uh, I got some license and registration, proof of insurance. What did you do wrong? You went through a stop sign back there, and you you used your turn signal, which was good, but you didn't stop at the stop sign. So I'm gonna. Uh, Check out your vehicle here, and I'll be right back. It's just the time. So I'll head back to the vehicle. We'll simulate that we're checking his ID. Alright, so dispatch said that uh, this vehicle is clean and their registration is fine. They're not wanted or anything, so we'll just uh, issue them a warning for uh, just next time to stop at the stop sign. I'm in a good mood. You can go. But don't screw up again. They'll be on their way. Just good police work today. Just great police work. And we'll be, uh... Tonight! Hey guys, this is an aftercut of... I'm cutting up this video right now. And I'm um, just here and I noticed that this episode's pretty much over here, but um, I tried to do a pursuit here. This prairie in front of me, I don't really know names by heart yet of vehicles, but I'm trying. I'm trying to learn, but did the speed radar script in this vehicle. It went about 70 miles an hour, and I was trying to pull it over. It didn't pull over. I blurped it. I didn't even turn on my sirens yet. I was chasing after it. Then when I blipped it, it ran after me. Then it would run all the way to Los Santos. And then I would call for some backup units. Now keep in mind that this vehicle did nothing but run from us. Then I called up for some backup. And some Blaine County officers showed up. And then they were trying. I gave them the right way. And this prairie went through, fought through all the traffic. And then it left its vehicle, it was running on foot, and the officers started shooting at this, the uh, running, pursuing uh, subject there. And all of a sudden I went over to bump him and he died. And so I don't know if the script is gets broken halfway through running it for too long, and the script just decides to crash, and that it uh, forces officers to shoot at the uh, civilian because he's running when really he should be arrested and often the cops uh, shouldn't be shooting at him and it 
don't really understand why it does that. Probably because it's a beta version. I know. Don't don't need to tell me that. But I just wish that that didn't happen. That I should be able to arrest that person, even though he's running, and not have officers shooting at them unless shot at back. See, the civilian wasn't armed or anything, and the officers just shot at them for apparently no reason. So I'm not really sure what's up with that. So um, just thanks for watching this episode. And uh, just thanks for watching. And uh, leave a like rating and a comment below what you think about this. I know LSPD Fire is in its early stages. But uh, hopefully it all gets fixed.